I'm really just trying to capture the, the marks that industrial substances leave behind. Right. So I, anyone who looks at these, I would like them to think whatever they want and get whatever out of it that they can. For UBCO visual arts major Danielle Engelsby, the past four years have been a journey working to uncover her true artistic passions. It was more of a process. So I started at the beginning of the year using like a wide variety of materials. And then as I figured out what I was most interested in, then this body of work is what came out of all the industrial materials I was working with. It's a journey that has led to this defining moment, the final showcase of the works created by Danielle and her classmates during their fourth and final year of studies. These ones are like used engine oil, oh, actually really? an industrial house paint, and marble dust, and yeah, it's kind of refined down to industrial material. So it's not just paint? It, it, there's no classical oil paint in these at all. Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's like a little bit stressful, but at the same time, I mean, that's a lot of months, right? So you can kind of wean through the better stuff and make sure that you've got a good selection. It's a step towards a more professional way of presenting the work, so it means a lot. It feels like um, the completion of something. We're learning how to put together a show, um, how to curate all these spaces, having to build these spaces because this was initially just a big room, so we have to build all these walls. The showcase, entitled Shelf Life, brings together the many art practices represented within the visual arts program from 2D to 3D, digital to handmade, and abstract to representational. For printmaker Kale Shannon, it was a chance to create two similar but diverse experiences for the viewer. I wanted to take blueprints and sort of show all the things that they don't include. They include measurements, but they don't include our dreams. They don't include the stories that we, that unfold in our homes. This is six doors, each with their own apartment and their own unique list of different types of objects. So these are the things you don't see on a blueprint. But I wanted to illuminate that and sort of tell a story about each, each, uh, each inhabitant of the, of the apartments that are depicted on the doors. The exhibit will culminate with a closing party on Saturday beginning at 7 p.m. Installations will be displayed throughout the first and second floors of the Creative and Critical Studies building. It's a free event that will include live entertainment, appetizers, and award presentations. It's a really stepping towards uh, you know, an active career as an artist to be out there. It's a great way to build up a portfolio as well. It'll be a really nice night uh, just to see all the, the families and friends of all 28 of, of us graduating students. Um, I know it's always a packed event that you can hardly walk through. Uh, it's, it's really exciting. The part that you learn the most from is seeing how people actually see your work and how they talk about it and how they move around it. And it just lets you know what works and, and what doesn't. Reporting for Go Okanagan on Shaw TV, I'm Brendan Osborne in Kelowna.